Hi, I'm Tracy and I am going to try to teach you how to play bridge. These lessons were created by my parents, Lee and Frank, and myself to teach children to play bridge, but they will work just as well for adults. Bridge is a card game played with the full deck of cards. That's 52 cards, which are divided into four suits, spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs. You need four people sitting at a table to play bridge. They play in pairs and sit opposite each other. Uh, we name the players using the cardinal points being north-south being a pair and east-west being a pair playing together. Your hand begins by dealing the 52 cards out to each person and you pick those cards up and you organize them in your hand by suit and within each suit you want to organize them in order from smallest to biggest or vice versa. You also want to separate your red suits from your black suits so you don't get them confused. These are the spades, the hearts, the clubs and the diamonds. In bridge the aim is to make as many tricks as possible with your partner. So this shows you and your partner potentially sitting north-south and your opponents sitting east-west. I will show you what a trick is. It is one card played from each person's hand in turn until there are four cards played and the highest card amongst those ones wins the trick. So here we have no trumps, so there is no master suit. One of the players is the first person to lead a card and he can choose any card in his hand and here it was West and West chose to lead the Two of Hearts. Going in a clockwise direction, everybody needs to play one card and they have to follow suit. That means they have to play a card in the same suit as the first card played if they have one. So North has to play a heart and he plays the four. East has to play a heart, he plays the king. South has to play a heart and he plays the ace. The highest card amongst these four cards wins the trick and the highest card in any suit is the ace. Following the ace is the king, then the queen, then the jack, then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 and 2 is the lowest card in any suit. So in this hand the ace wins the trick. Now this video is not set up for you to sit back and watch like it's a TV show. It needs to be interactive. So whenever I ask a question, I'd like you to pause the video, think about what the correct answer is. Once you know what it is, hit play again and listen to the answer. If you didn't get it correct, please go back, listen to what I said again, try again until you get the answer correct. If you still don't understand, please contact me and I will explain it further. So the winner of this trick is the Ace of Hearts. Whoever wins the trick plays the first card to the following trick and they can choose any card remaining in their hand. So South chooses the Nine of Hearts. Everybody else now needs to play a heart if they have one. Here you can see East did not play a heart. That must mean he has no more hearts to play. We're in no trumps, so East can choose any card in his hand to discard, and he chose the Four of Clubs. Who wins this trick? Pause the video, think about it, and then hit play again. I hope you said that the winner was the Queen of Hearts. It is the highest heart played in this trick. Right, now what happens if instead of East playing that Four of Clubs, East had played a higher card? Let's say East had played the Ace of Clubs. Who wins the trick now? Pause the video and think about it. I hope you said North still wins the trick because remember hearts was played first and the queen is the highest heart. An ace is better than a queen but this is not a heart so it doesn't win the trick. Now we're going to introduce the concept of a trump. In some hands a trump suit will be designated that suit is the master suit and any card from the trump suit beats any card from any other suit. So you are only allowed to play a trump if you cannot follow suit. South played the nine of hearts, west played the ten, north played the queen, east doesn't have a heart to play but if there is a trump suit he can play a trump now and he does. 
Now the Seven of Hearts is the best card in this trick because it is a trump and East wins the trick. Right, let's say South played the Nine of Hearts, West played the Ten of Hearts, North has no more hearts and spades is trumps. North plays a spade. East has no more hearts. So, East plays a spade. Do you know who wins this trick? It's East. He played the biggest spade. Right, now clubs is trumps. Who wins this trick? North led the two of spades. Everybody was able to follow suit. The highest card wins. It's the ace. Clubs is still trumps. Let's say West could not follow with a spade, but instead played the three of clubs. Do you know who wins this trick now? It is West, because West played a trump. The three of trumps beats the ace of spades. Clubs is still trumps. Who wins this trick? It's South. The ace is the best card. Diamonds is trumps. Who wins this trick? The Ace of Diamonds wins the trick. South had no diamonds. He couldn't, so he could choose any card in his hand to play, and he chose the Seven of Spades. The Ace of Diamonds is the best card. It wins the trick. Hearts is trumps. Who wins this trick? You can see Spades was led. Everybody played a spade except South, who didn't have one, but he had a trump, so he played it, and the Two of Hearts beats the Ace of Spades. South wins the trick. Right, now we understand what a trick is and we understand what a trump is. The aim of bridge is to make as many tricks as possible. There is a total of 13 tricks to be won in each hand because each player has 13 cards in their hand. In some hands you and your partner will have lots and lots of good cards and you may be able to make 10 or 11 or 12 tricks. In other hands hands you may not have as many good cards and maybe you'll only be able to make seven or eight tricks. In bridge you need to set yourself an appropriate target. So you set a target based on how strong your hand is or how good your hand is and we need a way to evaluate how good your hand is. So the first way we evaluate your hand is we count high card points. These are points for each of the for each of the high cards, so the Ace, King, Queen and Jack, which are called Honours, in your hand. An Ace gets four points, every King gets three points, every Queen gets two points, and every Jack gets one point. So every time you get dealt 13 cards, the first thing you do is you count, after you've sorted out your cards into suits, you count your high card points. Ace four, King three, Queen two, Jack one. On the next screen I'm going to give you a hand and I want you to count the high card points. Count the high card points, sorry, pause the video, count the high card points. I'll tell you how many there are. If you got it wrong, go back and count again before moving on. How many points in this hand? There are 14 points in this hand. How many high card points in this hand? Pause the video. There are 10 high card points in this hand. 4 for the ace, 3 for the king is 7, 2 for the queen is 9, 1 for the jack is 10. How many high card points in this hand? Pause the video. There are 13 high card points in this hand. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7, plus 4 is 11, plus 2 is 13. How many high card points in this hand? Pause the video. There are 18 high card points in this hand. 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, plus 2 is 13, plus 1 is 14, plus 4 is 18. The next thing we need to do, once we know how strong our hand is, is we need to choose a trump suit with our partner. Remember it's a team game. So between you and your partner, you want to find out which suit you want to be the master suit or the trump suit. 
and we decide this if we have what is called a fit with our partner. That is eight or more cards in the same suit. So here this is your hand, on the right is your partner's hand and you want to see if there is any suit that you and your partner have at least eight cards in. Pause the video and look. You have an eight card heart fit. You got five hearts in your hand, your partner has three hearts, that's a total of eight cards and we call that a fit. You would choose hearts to be trump in this hand. What about this hand? Do you and your partner have a fit? Remember a fit is eight cards. Pause the video. Yes, you and your partner have a fit in spades. You have five spades. Your partner has four spades. That's a total of nine cards. That is a fit and you would choose spades to be your trump suit. What about this hand? Do you and your partner have a fit? Eight or more cards. Pause the video. You probably found that you do not have a fit. The most you have is a seven card suit. So you have no fit and you would not choose a trump suit, you would choose to play in no trump. What about here? Which suit would you choose to be your trump suit? Do you have a fit? Yes, <coughs> you have a fit in spades. Five spades in your hand, three spades in your partner's hand, that's a total of eight spades. Don't be distracted by the diamonds. You have very nice cards in diamonds, but you only have six diamonds between you and your partner. That means your opponents have seven diamonds. If you choose diamonds as the trump suit, your opponents are going to make lots of tricks with their seven diamonds. You want the trump suit to be spades. That's the end of lesson one. Tune in again for lesson two.